and boys were killed. In the evening, the King and Queen arrived unexpectedly at KB Main Colway to express their sympathies to the bereaved wives and families. Then they returned to Wentworth House, where they were staying with the Fitzwilliam family. Bad luck, that, Dan. What? That disaster happening on the same day as their visit. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, definitely, definitely. He had a dirty son. He was clean on this morning. He was a rough paint all over me. That action painting. What? That action painting. What action painting? Yeah, that's it. Don't tell him. No. Well, they get their brushes like this and they splat it on like that. Right. And they get motorbikes and buy them across and then they're all nude women across. Nude women? Yeah. Mm. I like to roll Sharon Marshall across it. Ha. <laughs> uh, nice, isn't it? Here, did I see her dancing last night? Ah, that won't bad, will it? Tits yeah. bouncing, they're like two bloody birds playing in the bed. <laughs> what are you messing about at now? Oh, just paint it wall, like I told us to do. And what's that supposed to be? More than that, that, Bob. Brighten the place up a bit before him Prince Charles comes. Oh, brighten your horse up in a minute. Clean her boot of that. Now get that covered up. And get some piano in there and try and do it properly. This is the bloody National Curl Board, not the National Art Gallery. What do you say there? I say we're going to need a lot of turpentine time to get this paint off his overalls. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Done quick, might be up there. Until yeah. then, expect in about half an hour, right? Oh, yeah. Jeff Carter, my under manager. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Sir. Square from the palace. Of course, you know. Uh, hello. Hello, hello Jeff. Nice to meet you. Jeff. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, we've, we have a very tight schedule on this uh, visit, with a lot of engagements to fulfil. So it's essential that every section of the programme should be timed to the minute. Now, well, the helicopter will land at 10:30 precisely. What? Wait, helicopter. Yes, is there anything wrong? No, you're just taking us by surprise, that's all. We naturally thought he'd be travelling by car. <laughs> no, we nearly always use a helicopter for these meet-the-people tours. You see, you get the maximum number of visits in a given area, and it minimises the travelling time. Well, uh, yeah, well, yeah. appreciate yeah. that. Think about it. Now, where do you suggest we have the landing pad? Well, now you've mentioned it, Sir Gordon, I think we must have a look down there, because I think we have an ideal spot. Yes, that looks very possible. Well, we've no tall buildings and you're well cleared of the headgears and there's yes. no wires. What about the markings? Yes. Will it have to be marked out at all? Yes. You need to have a large white H painted on the ground, Yes. which is perfectly easy for the pilot to pick up when he comes into land. The pilot? I thought he took the controls himself. <laughs> <laughs> he does sometimes on more leisurely occasions. Now, immediately after touchdown, you will have the introduction of the cold board personnel Officials of the Mining Union yeah. and associations. Yeah. And that, I presume, will take place there because the next port of call will be the offices. Yeah, yeah, that's the idea of it, yeah, yeah. Now, I wonder if somebody could uh, make a note of all Phil, this, could they? Yeah, you mind, you? Thank you very much. Yeah. Right, well, 10.30 touchdown. So 10, oh, and... Um, 10.30 touchdown. That's right. Now, we, un we find the only satisfactory way of doing this is to do a real walk-through proper rehearsal. Yes, yes, like right. yes, 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 yes. Right, 10.30 touchdown. You got that, Phil? Now, Mr. Forbes, you will walk forward and be presented here, <coughs> and then you will proceed with His Royal Highness to the official party. And 10.32, introduction of the official party. And how many men have you got actually in the, uh, in the line-up, Mr. Forbes? Well, I really couldn't tell you, Sir Gordon, I fun, but I've got them all inside. 
Now, shall I bring them out? If Line you would, up. please. Yes, please. Would it help? It would make it much more accurate. Right. Mr. Gordon, do you find everything is going according to plan for you? Yes, it's going very well, I think, yes. Uh, I wanted to, pardon me for saying this, but you do very much remind me of the Duke of Edinburgh. Do you mind really? me saying so? Well, I think, I don't think whether he'd be very pleased, because he's very much younger than I am. Oh, you're very much resembling him, very much. Yeah. Away. You've just been saying so, my colleague and I down there have been saying so. We think uh, very much, very much so. Well, don't say a word, but I think I'm a little taller than he is, doesn't he? Is it a fact, is it? Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing, Phil. What's that, yeah? It's a bloody good job this pit's not near the canal. Why not? Well, he'd want to come in his cruiser, wouldn't he? Think of the bloody job we'd have on widening that. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Gold. Do you find you have to stand down a bit sometimes? No, that's not my job. You have to stand down. That's probably my job. Hopefully, yeah. Who? Well, what's this here? I don't know. It's about to be something to do with your visit that the on about. Who's that bloke with grey hair and suit? Must be important anyway. Yeah, and this gentleman here, this is Walter Hardy. He's one of our longest serving employees. He started work in the mines at 13. He's due for retirement next month after 41 years of loyal service. Loyal service? I know the bloody choice. Walter, you've been already told twice you don't speak unless His Royal Highness speaks to you first. Sorry about that, Sir All you have to do is to bow slightly and shake hands and wait for Prince Charles to hold out his hand before you take it. Do you understand? Yes. And should His Royal Highness speak to you, you will address him as Sir. And I hope when the day comes, Walter, we're going to have your teeth in. Well, I want a new set. These are loose. I sound like a bloody trotting pony when I've got the buggers in. Walter, I know the Prince is a nautical man. I know he knows all the words. But he's going to hear none from you or anyone else on that day. So remember that, will you? Yes, sir. Right. And this is Michael Barton, one of our youngest apprentices. He's a real good lad. He's coming on real well. But there's one thing I'd like to tell him. Do us a favour, Michael. Get your hair cut for the day, please, will you? I think it yesterday. When? Yesterday. Turn round, lad. Well, the only thing I can say is robbed you. Well, what are they doing? I'm making a five or so picture out of something. I'll wish I'm all. Yeah. What is it then? It's a small picture. Helicopters come in with helicopter, didn't you know? Helicopters? Yeah. I didn't yeah. know that. Manager didn't know, there's been a right flap on his head, my hose in it yeah. all down. Yeah, will you? Brushing it. Been named Louis all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Running in and out of office, see if I were doing it right. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Wait, look on it though, I thought it was with the five or so picture or something. There's this rope to keep crowds off. Hey! What the hell are you doing there? <laughs> Where are you two supposed to be walking? Well, I've just come down from the fitting shop. We're off up into the stockyard now. Well, before you go, I've got a little job for you. Yeah. But I better go and make it right with Harry first. What's I want us to do then? Well, I'll tell you what I want you to do. There's two tubes behind the offices. I want you to bring them around the front and stand one either side of the door. Then go to the stores and get a wheelbarrow. I want you to fill them up with soil. Well, pit tubs full of t soil. <laughs> flower tubs, you dozy bugger. Oh, uh, well, there's some flowers there then. No. It'd look great with two pit tubs standing in front of the office, wouldn't it? <laughs> Mr. Forbes wants them brought around because he wants a little, some flowers and some decoration at the front of the office. Uh, OK, you two can get away and get that done now. Yep. Go on, don't hurry. And you can get back on painting them lines and, and keep them straight. What? OK? Circle as well? Never mind. Get on with the lines <laughs> and try and get a bit of work done. 